Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Legacy Nuzlocke. Uh, in the last episode, we just got to the SSN, and I gotta heal up quick. So let me do that before anything, because Pikachu did take a little bit of damage. I don't think you can heal up on this one, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't think there's actually a healing on this one. So I could just be out of luck. Uh, I might have to pop off and run to the PC. I think Gen 1, that's what you gotta do. Uh, but we got a couple battles to do on here. Most importantly, we do have a rival battle. And then we get the TM for cut. And then we could fight Lieutenant Surge. So I don't want to, you know, super rush it. This playthrough has been going really well. I'm enjoying it. Every single bit of it. So I hope you guys are as well. Um, I'm trying to think what's on this boat. There's probably a couple TMs. I probably should thoroughly explore it. Um probably a smart thing to do let me go into Presley. if you're going for double kick i'll eat it up and confusion will destroy you go for the poison sting i got all played i'm gonna get poisoned too i did not nice put confusion up top should one shot Kadabra is gonna be a mainstay on the team i think we're gonna keep Kadabra and pikachu and sand slash i think that's gonna be my main core pokemon uh for this playthrough they're just it's such a great combination. Sand Slash being extremely physically defensive. Alakazam being really good on the special side. And with, you know, all the differences we can make along the way. Let me see if she heals you. Let me see. You heal me up. No, you just want the cherry pie. All right. All right. All right. Uh, there are going to be a lot of like, I don't know if I really need to do like the random battles in here. There is an item here. You're not a trainer? Okay, you are. I'm assuming most of these battles are going to be semi, like, easy. Um, okay, I need a Reno. Okay, that's not, nothing to mess around with. Or maybe not, maybe not. Let's, uh, let's take this a little more seriously. Yeah, pay attention a little bit. Like I said, this game, with the level caps involved, you know, I'm not going to be able to just super solo run everything. And uh, maybe I should pay a little more attention and not just speed up through everything. Some of these situations, I think I can, like that. One Pokemon, I clearly had the advantage. I do want to get through this entire boat. Body slam. That's why I wanted to look at this. Uh, I had a feeling there were going to be some decent items in here. We still got three antidotes. Got a couple potions. Um, I guess I should be okay. Yeah, I do want to somewhat explore. I don't really need to battle anybody. Um, I don't think any of you guys do anything. Great ball. Nope. Nope. Okay. Easy peasy. Uh, let's go down this way. There's another floor here. Okay. Do you want these items? Max potion. Very good. Couple trainers. I don't need to fight the trainers. I mean, nothing super crazy going to be going on with that. Ether is good. Another item. We will fight you because we have to. Mm, 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 mm. I always, I think every single time I do a playthrough, I get a couple episodes in. Also, by the way, sorry, I'm sleeveless out here. I feel like I'm naked. Uh, but this tie-dye shirt is one of my long sleeve ones. But because the tie-dye, when you bleach the black shirt and do like the reverse tie-dye, it damp the bleach will damage the shirt and kind of makes it more, you know, prone to tearing and stuff. And this one clearly got bleached way too much. <laughs> I love how it looked, but we ended up with holes like in the sleeve and like in the armpit area. So it's been very hot out and muggy and humid. So I decided to cut the sleeves off of it and I was out doing errands and I just got back and I was like, oh, I gotta do some recording. And I was like, sleeveless, sleeveless breezy it is. Trying to learn headbutt. Yes, please. What do I have for a moveset? I can get rid of quick attack. Pikachu's fast enough. I think it'll be okay with getting rid of that. And now he is at the level cap. What do we got here? TM for rest. Ooh, TM for rest could be good. Ah, uh, you guys are trainers. Kind of cool. You lived. You don't live. You don't live. Okay. Nothing there. That's the last person in that area. Uh, let me... I already went up, so I gotta go this way now. I do want to heal up prior to fighting the rival for sure. He tells me about Snorlax, which is fine. 
There's an item here. Let's go for it. Goldine, all these fishermen are just getting thunder punched. Out of here. I would love a Tentacruel. If I get a Tentacruel encounter, I'm going to be so happy. Let me lead with... Presley. What do you got for me? I think this guy is like a Growlithe guy, right? I feel like the guys with the top hats always have Growlithes. These uh, gentlemen. Voltorb. Ooh. Voltorb looks great in this game. That sprite is amazing. Let's go with the confusion. Surprised I outsped you. I feel like Voltorb's so, so fast. Big crit. Oh my god, the crit rate on this guy is going to be nuts. Uh, that's one thing that about this game that I do think is cool. A lot of people think that, you know, the mechanics of Gen 1 are pretty horrible. And there are a lot of really bad ones. But, oof. One of the things I do like about it is they didn't change that in this game. Not all of them, at least. Uh, they did change. They fixed a lot of things that were, like, definitely needed fixing. A lot of stuff that was just like, you know, little quirks of the game, they kept in. So I thought that was cool. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Easy peasy. I figured that'd be easy battles. Uh, so things like, you know, the speed stat being the deciding factor of how often the Pokemon will land a critical hit. You know, it's a very, like, weird niche thing of Gen 1, but it's kind of what makes certain Pokemon, like, Persian, like, super viable. So... They kept that in. Um, just a couple of the mechanics about it that, you know, some could say is a bad thing of it, but it's just one of the, you know, one of the, what's the way to put it? One of the little quirks that I think people just like, I guess, you know? Mm -mm -mm. It's not perfect, but it is what it is, you know? Okay, let's get ready. We should be good to fight the rival now. Yep, yep, yep. Give me that. Using a little bit of the speed up just to get here. And let's get into this battle. We are fully healed. Good to go. Bonjour. Imagine seeing you here. Ash, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Oh, thank you. Thank you for teaching me how to catch Pokemon. I never knew. Four Pokemon. You lead with a Raticate. Oof. Raticate's a strong Pokemon. And I led with Presley, who is not a strong physically defensive Pokemon. So we're going to go into Daisy, my Sand Slash, which should be able to deal with this pretty easily. Oh my god, that back sprite is so good. I'm going to say it every single episode, all right? All right, how many episodes will Breezy talk about the back sprites? All of them, Chris, all of them. They're awesome. Look at that, that Sand Slash looks so good. I don't even remember what Sand Slash looked like in Gen 1, to be honest. I haven't played Gen 1 in so long. The crit. Let's go. Goes for the bite. 43 to 28. I should have kept Daisy healthier, probably, because... No, nah, I think he has to love the Eevee. Weeping Bell. Ooh. Grass move should be coming out here. Could go for, like, a Stun Spore Sea Powder or something, maybe. Uh, Stun Spore. There it is. And he lands it. And we are now paralyzed. You go for growth. Oh boy, I need to get, I need to break through this. Thank you. Um, I'm going to, I can't use items in battle. I forgot I'm playing hardcore mode. I was say I was going to heal the paralysis, but I can't even do that. Oh boy. You can't really do anything to me. We only have grass coverage. I'll be fine no matter what. Yeah, you growth up. You're trying to get strong, but you ain't doing nothing to me. Not to Fox. All right, and what else you got? I don't know if the EVs going to be fully evolved or not. And I don't remember... I remember I was talking about... You have a sand tree, my boy. Um, certain, Depending on how you do the beginning of the game with the rival battle uh, going towards the Elite Four, depending on whether or not you do that battle, um, depends on what team you'll end up fighting. And I forget what, you know, what way that I did it. So I don't know exactly which team I'm going to end up fighting. If it'll be the Flareon, Vaporeon, or Jolteon team. I forget which one was like the better or worse of them too. Um, but it is what it is. We'll see what we get. I kind of, if I get the Eevee, I, well, I mean, you do get Eevee in this game. Um, I think I want to get Flareon. He's by far the worst one of the three, especially in this game. Do I live from this? 
feel like I gotta. Go Kavu. Uh, Flare Round's definitely, yeah, like, undoubtedly it's the worst, more, probably one of the worst fire types in this game. Its physical attack is so good, but fire's special, so it's just not the greatest combination. But Jolteon is really good special, good speed, and which gives them high crit ratio and whatnot, but we got a Pikachu. And then Vaporeon, I just... I feel like there's so many water types that I just don't want to go with Vaporeon, you know? Like, it's just unnecessary. Was that not a crit? I feel like that did so much damage for a quick attack. Critical hit. And we get the para. Let's go, baby. Um, I think I'm in range of a crit quick attack, so I'm actually going to switch out. I'm going to play it super safe. We are Nuzlocking, so... At the end of the day, I got to make sure we don't lose a single Pokemon. And quick attack crit. A little scary. All right, we're good. We're good. Still just using a little Eevee. Beautiful. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Yeah, I am indeed. Heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya. Thanks, bud. I think they changed Cut in this game. I think that's one of the changes they made. I need to double check. Um... I know that in some of these games, they've made cut like a bug move or something like that. So it just was a different coverage and it was just a slightly better uh, use of the move. They tried to make the HMs, I think, all a little more valuable. So pretty cool thing they did. You go off. We're going to fast forward through that. I want to get into Surge's gym and we got the time to do it. Um, oh, man, you know, I just thought about I have to do Lieutenant Surge's gym. And if I remember correctly, they made it so that the gym puzzle is like just a standard like one, two thing. Like you don't have to actually do the puzzle. But I forget how they changed it. Like they made it so it's always the same two garbage cans. I know Radical Red did the same thing. Um, Man, I don't know. Okay, who do we got? I need to remember who these Pokemon are. Uh, I might have to go with Greg. Ace was a Diglett. Cosmo, what are you? A Venonat? I don't think you evolve yet, so it's probably not worth. Greg might be the best. Hawk Tua. <laughs> the Bell Sprout. I probably could get a Weeping Bell. Um. Jesse was the B drill. Kane. Polywhirl. Hmm. I could get Eradicate off this too, right? Let me see if you evolve. Let me rare candy up Big Purr. Oh, I just got rid of Hyper Fang for Focus Energy. That was really bad. I'm trying to learn Dig. Uh, let's get rid of Focus Energy for Dig. That was a really misplay, but Dig on that is very good. Uh, I'm just going to Rare Candy you up all to 24. Drill Peck already? Oh, yeah, crazy. Poison Powder. Ah, uh, nah. We are about to fight Raichu, and Raichu is a boss fight. So I'm trying to make sure I can actually get through this battle. Uh, let me, I think I want to lead with Pikachu. I have Growl on this, right? Yes. I'm going to lead with Pikachu. I think the best strategy, because like I said, I'm like 99% sure it has Thunderbolt and Surf, and I believe Body Slam. And Body Slam is dangerous. Uh, don't put Cut on Daisy. I think I do. I gave it a slash or poison thing. I gave it a poison thing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it has surf. So surf thunderbolt is both resisted by Pete. And I believe body slams his last move, which is his only physical attack. So I think if I lead with Pikachu, growl him. And then I think I could thunder wave electric types in this game, right? I feel like I keep saying that and then I just don't know for sure. Uh, let me see what happens. Hey, there's a switch under the... Oh, does it just guaranteed... The first two you do is going to be the right ones. Okay. That just must be what it is. 
just guarantees you'll get it on the first two tries okay so let's see lead coffee we click growl see how much damage he does with surf or whatever he clicks maybe get a thunder wave off um if not we'll see what he's going for I could try to work around it we have dig on him he's good specially fox probably won't get used except for like a last minute swift or quick attack I'm nervous about this, but I really don't have a much better team I could put together for it. Let me actually update the team real quick before I do anything. Let me put Eradicate here. And that's the only change we made, right? Yes. Eradicate over Gyarados. My puny power Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. I don't know what level he is. I know he's a higher level. I know he's a it's a singular ride that's a higher level. I'm 24, so what are you? 29. Whew. Okay, we're going to growl. You go for Surf immediately. Your special and physical attack are both 90 normally. Okay, that does 31 damage. That is a lot. Um, What is my special? 44. What is your special? 46. Okay, and you resist. So this should be a safe switch. It should do way less. Goes for the body slam on the switch. Weird. But we go for a leech seed on another body slam. No para. We land the leech seed. Okay. Um. You should never go for a... You should just go for body slam always. So I'm going to go into Daisy. I'm going to try to... Go to the Body Slam. Okay, that shouldn't do anything. Gets the Paralysis. All right. My special is 35. Surf is going to cook. My special is 66 on this. I'm going into Presley. Those are surf. This should do nothing. Should do very little. Oh my gosh, that's still a good amount of damage. Um, kind of want to disable, but I think I just I just need to start doing some damage. Goes for another surf. Okay, that's best case scenario. Is he avoiding clicking electric moves because I have a uh, ground type? That could be the case. Let me see how much this confusion does. Good damage. Okay. Mm hmm. I wonder if that's the case, if that's why he's clicking everything but. How's Big Purr? Special's not great. My speed's pretty solid, but he's gonna still outspeed me. I'd like to get him in and click Dig. I can't risk this guy, though. I really can't. Can't risk Daisy. Um... I hate to say it, but I'm going to go. Uh, this is tough. I'm going to go big purr. Goes with surf. Nothing I can do about a special attack. It's just doing damage. 63. To 22. Yikes. There's no way I outspeed you. I want to go for just a quick attack chip. Honestly, but I'm basically sacking Big Purr if I go for the quick attack. And to be honest, I'm probably not going to use him for like anything else. So if you don't get the KO, which you probably won't, at least you, at least he did something, right? It's just he's clicking Surf, so I can't. If I go into P, he could probably take one, but it's like then again, I just have to switch after that. So it's really no point. I mean, I just would like to not lose a Pokemon. Which, I mean, I guess no, there's just no way to out. Like, I don't have quick attack on you. You're not gonna outspeed. You'll die to surf. You'll live a surf, but then maybe staying in was the best play on the last turn. Is what it is. I'm gonna go for the quick attack. Maybe we get a crit. Maybe we KO. We do not KO. He goes for a thunderbolt. Okay. First thunderbolt of this of the game. Big purr. Appreciate your your services, my friend. 
I wanted to look at my stats. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to headbutt. Should take a body slam, minus one attack. Okay, and then Leech Seed goes off, okay. Okay, down goes Big Purr. Unfortunate, but you know what? Uh, sacrifices had to be made. This is a tough battle. I mean, I had a feeling I was going to lose something in this. Um, him spamming the Surf was a little unfortunate, because if I was more confident he was going to click Body Slam or Thunderbolt, I could have used uh, Sand Slash better. But is what it is. Is what it is. And we get the TM4 Thunderbolt. I'm 99% sure Pikachu will learn Thunderbolt by level up, so there's definitely no chance I'm going to put it on him. Um, so I will be saving that for a very special Pokemon later in the game, I believe. Uh, let's... You have the Thunder Badge. You must be a good trainer. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. Would you take good care of it? Of course I will. Of course I will. And do I need a nickname for it? Of course I do. Let me pull up the last video. And let's get a nickname ready. Give me one second. I forgot I was going to get an encounter today. So I did not have the video ready and locked and loaded. All right. First one I see. First one I see. Call. Oh, wait, we already used Cosmo. My bad. Uh, second one I see. Felix. Felix the Squirtle. There's no room for Pokemon. Felix was sent to the Pokemon box one. Okay, please treat Squirtle right. I got you, my boy. All right, let's heal up real quick. Uh, we're going to go to Phil's PC. We're going to change box. We're going to go to box five. We're going to deposit Big Purr. And then we're going to go back to box one. And we're going to heal up. And slightly short episode, but we are going to wrap it up right here. In the next episode, we are going to go to the route, the right of Cel uh, Cerulean. Um, I did remember Celadon was Erica's city's gym. We actually used the name Celadon on our stream, so now I'll never forget Celadon is the gym. I don't know why. I think every time I think of the game corner, I immediately remember it's Celadon, but for some reason, I was just having a strong last episode. Uh, but yeah, we'll go to that right. We'll get an encounter. We get like three encounters. The first route, and then the route changes right uh before you get to dark cave the actual dark cave and then in dark cave you get an encounter so we should get at least three encounters next episode uh so make sure you leave your nicknames make sure you like the video subscribe all those things and i will see you in the next one peace out